This is a test of the Kluber Grease versus Pro 1 using a triple cross axis friction machine. First we're going to apply the uh, grease on the uh, spinning race. For full details and data regarding this machine please refer to the other videos that we have on our YouTube channel which gives a description of the machine. So we applied it on the race and now we're going to apply some also on the bearing. We will turn on the machine and we will go ahead and apply a finger full of pressure and it will stop at 250 inch pounds of pressure which gives us 4,000 pounds per square inch of pressure at point to point contact. And as you can see, it will continue to stop. The amp gauge is taken out. The grease cannot handle the pressure. Now we will take a look at the scar. And as you will notice, it's a pretty significant scar that was uh, generated. Now we'll go ahead and test the Pro 1 EP2 grease. Okay, the machine has been reset and we will now test the Pro 1 EP2 grease. So I will take an amount of the grease, which is an NLG, NLGI grade 2 type grease. And also, I will also apply some to the bearing or dowel pin. Now we will turn on the machine just like we did before. And notice that when I, as soon as I apply pressure to the spinning race, the first thing you notice is that noise come down. And I can still continue to take this all the way to the ends of the torque wrench, 200,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. I can also shock load it and it will not stop. The amp gauge is currently reading about five amps. and it's stay in there. Now we will look at the scar, which is essentially just a burnish mark on the bearing. Okay, here you will observe the two products that were tested. On the left was a 3M grease, which is the uh, Kluber, um, which uh, was able to withstand about 250 inch pounds of pressure, which is equivalent to 4,000 pounds per square inch. And on the right, we have the EP2 grease, which was able to take over 600 inch pounds plus, uh, bringing it to about 200,000 pounds per square inch of pressure at point to point contact. You will notice observe that the, the scars are, are very different. On the left the uh, Kluber grease is just a little bit bigger scar than the Pro 1 EPT which is uh, more of a burnish mark.